Lord have. Hi, Sam. Yes, we've cleared the 10th floor for your wife. We'll have the security detail 24-7. Oh, please, it's our pleasure. Thank you for thinking of us. So what do we owe this surprise? Hi. Oh, my God. What? It's funny. I, I don't know what to do anymore. What is it now? Mom, could you just listen without passing judgment first? I've been listening. You've been complaining about Lenny for the past six or seven months now? But never once do you take any responsibility for your contribution to the drama. You know, I should have known better than come to you about this. Close the door. Really? You're going to tell me what Sit to do? Sit down. Sit down. Not now. Brian, there are no victims in relationships, only willing participants. When were you sure that you wanted to break up with mom? I don't think you're ever 100% sure about something like that. I mean, your mother and I really tried everything to make it work. But in the end, we realized we were spending more time trying to fix the relationship than actually being in it. When I was away at school, I just knew that you guys had problems, but I never thought that you guys would split up. Well, there were tons of reasons to stay in the relationship, and there were tons of reasons not to. In the end, it was a choice. Ever look back and wonder? Yeah. And you just kind of stay with it. I will always love your mother. Brian, you either have to choose to stay in the relationship and make it work at all costs or end it. It's the waffling, the uncertainty creates more suffering than any choice you'll ever make. I just don't want to make the wrong choice, you know? I know. 